Oh, what is good, good viber? How are you doing? Could you see me through the glass? I could see you. Anyways, today it is your girl Esther Joy. She's coming at you with another video. On this channel, we love to talk about love, light, joy, and peace. So if you, my friend, enjoy spreading those vibrations, then know that you're in the right place. Today I wanted to talk to you about something personal that has just come up. Um, Alright, the cat's out of the bag. Yesterday, as some of you may know, I am a door dasher, so I uh, deliver food. I had a great, great round yesterday um, in a while. And, and on my way home, T-boned a car. Thank God both of us are okay. I really cannot describe to you the events leading up to the impact. Um, but my car is totaled. Again, thankfully, both of us are okay. Thank goodness. So... That was my day yesterday night. It was a very rainy, uh, stormy day, very slippery roads, so be careful if you're driving, okay? Now, I bring this up to you because, I'm not gonna lie, it was like slow motion moments before impact, and I was thinking to myself, dang, this really do be happening in life. <laughs> and, uh, to be honest, I was not even thinking that I could have died, but that is something that is always a possibility for all of us as long as we're alive. So I wanted to make this video to address the urgency of life and also address a few, um, I guess, life lessons I learned in those few moments of my life flashing before my eyes. Yeah, good viber, we're gonna get real into it today. So... It all began from the day I was born. Anyways, I'm here now. I'm alive. We're together in the space of this timeless video. Now, I realized a few things. I realized I don't think my delivery job is worth my life. If I'm gonna die for something, it's gonna be for you, fam. I'm gonna be 100% honest. If I'm gonna die for something, it's gonna be for you. And I think that's why I'm still living right now. Now, not to get depressing or anything, I personally have never had a problem with death. I mean, I'm still alive, so I can't really say anything, but I have seen many people go. And I do acknowledge that one day, the people I love most my family, my dog, they're going to die one day as well. You even, fam, are going to die one day as well. But I cannot go in peace until I fulfill my soul's mission. I set the intention to fulfill my soul's mission. And whether I do that in a year, five years, 80 years, I know that when I finish, I will be okay to go. Not a moment sooner. Not a moment. <laughs> Not a moment sooner. <laughs> so, with that being said, that really did shed a light uh, for me. It made me think, you know, delivering food is good and all, but now that my car is totaled, I need to find a new way to receive revenue. Not only that, if I'm gonna die again, Fibers, it's gonna be for you, fam. It's gonna be for you. Because to be honest, this is what I love doing. Even though I'm not sure what I'm doing, to be honest, it's still gonna be for you. So, and me, of course, as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, that was a very interesting day. Lots of relevations. <sighs> and... It really opened my eyes to how, again, how fleeting life is. How everything can change in a blink of an eye. I think 2020 has taught us all that. What we once may have thought is solid. You know, our daily routines can easily be shooken up by the slightest 
movement in the cosmos. So with that being said, you gotta enjoy the ride, of course, because you might as well die if you don't. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Please do not take that as a remark to die. Live your life to the fullest, please. If that's all you get from this video, live your life to the fullest. That's why I'm making this video, to tell you to live your life to the fullest. I made this channel because I remember sitting with my friend and she's like, I have a great personality. I know I'd be a great YouTuber. And I was like, you absolutely would, girl, because I like listening to you. You're funny. You're hilarious. You have some really interesting stories to share. But she never went out and actually just made the video and posted it. I never thought I was going to be a YouTuber until I got sick one day and I had to stay home from college. And I just decided, hey, I might as well just post video about how I feel right now. And from there, I just continued to post videos, continue to see how I can help people. Because I know if you're watching this, then on some level, we're very much resonating. And I namaste to you, fam. Namaste to you. I honor and bless you. Now, I realize I don't want to live a mediocre life where I'm low-key angry at life for not treating me fairly. I don't want to live a life where I'm, la I'm bitter that I have to do something just because that's what someone told me to do. I don't want to live a life where I'm not fulfilling my purpose. And that's really all it comes down to. If I have my purpose and a clear vision, then I know I'll have the passion to back it up. And even if I die tomorrow making a video or something, at least I started and at least I got this far, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I could have died. I can still die, you know? I might not make it to the end of this day. And I'm alright with that, fam, because at least I got this video out to you. And if this inspires one person to reevaluate their life, realize that the reason they might not be happy is because they're not living their truest potential, which is doing what they love and are meant to do, which, you know, is what they're good at. And by doing what you love, you're just increasing the frequency of love on the planet. And you're also going to be creating because we do, we are like gods. Gods create. They create things, and we share our creations with one another, and we help contribute to the world that way. So if we do what we love, if we contribute to the planet that way, then we will be fulfilling our life purpose. And what better way is there to go than that? To be honest, I can't really think of one. I really can't. So... Uh, that's pretty much all I had to say. Uh, go fulfill your life purpose today, even if it's for 10 minutes. Just realize that you could die at any given moment. I'm not saying to quit your job because of this realization, but maybe reevaluate and um, look for better options if you don't like where you work. The possibilities are really endless, as endless as you choose them to be. Again, you're gonna die one day. This life is really a gift. Enjoy it to the best of your abilities and have fun. I'm so thankful to be alive with you right now during this time on the planet. And I really do hope that this inspired you and motivated you to do what you love. Know that that's why you're here and alive. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And without further ado, I also wanted to mention that my ebook the rainbow vessel an ebook all about the chakras i'm planning on releasing it this weekend so if you are or have already reserved your free copy with the link down below then know and expect to see an email from me very soon Without further ado, if you want to support me further with some of the art I'm doing, I'm creating a tarot deck, and I'm also planning on putting some wonderful updates and other really great benefits. If you want to support me, you can on Patreon. Check it out. <laughs> the first 10 patrons will get a special surprise. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I guess we'll see. And without further ado, really fam, thank you so much again for watching me and, you know, being on this journey with me again. It really is a journey. And uh, yeah, I'm so thankful for you.
Namaste, have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.